hi guys it's sarah i'm back with another video i feel like it's been a little bit um maybe a month or so yeah that sounds about right um but yeah i'm back i'm drawing again i am participating in inktober so if you want to check that out it is on my instagram i am fully motivated to finish this year <laughs> um but today i have this um it's like a sticker subscription i get every month it's by i think it's sticky co i believe i'll leave it down below um but they basically send you like five or six sticker sheets every month plus like washi tape um a like sticky notepad little notepad um and sometimes you know just little cutesy things sometimes i get like a um, like a little patch in there. Sometimes I get like these tiny little envelopes. Just it's it's really fun stuff. I really like it. I've had this for about a year now. Um, not sponsored or anything. I I just really like it. It's ten bucks a month, and then the shipping is like a dollar, so it's like eleven dollars a month. But I really like it. It's just something to kind of keep my spirits up. Um, especially with like I think I got this during the whole like when the pandemic. I don't know was still going on and everything and i just wanted something to look forward to so i really like it um i think it's really cute there's different themes that you can pick from like you can pick the cute theme there's like a pop theme and then there's like a vintage theme uh mine's usually the cute theme for the most part sometimes i go with the pop one um but yeah and they have like on their instagram where they show kind of like a little bit of spoiler so if you want to change it you can um i really like it i really like it i think it's fun um i've had it for yeah about a year i would say so it's uh it's really cute um but today i wanted to draw something inspired from these uh items i received and i originally thought of going with like a pumpkin or like a ghost but i eventually just went with a witch, I think, because I was um, really inspired by the witch stickers in this pack, and I thought they were super cute, and I liked the design, so I went with a witch, and I hadn't drawn in a while, so I didn't want to, I guess, push myself too far, so I decided to just kind of go with, like, a typical um, pose for me, so it's kind of like the winky face with, you know, holding the hat, and you know just something kind of cutesy because it has been a while like um i don't know i guess i just kind of need a little bit of a break um you know everything's been crazy around the world so that plus daily life is just insane um but i thought it was a cute idea just to go with the witch and i am sketching with my paper mate clear point in the color pink which is my favorite pencil um, I thought it was really cute, and then I did end up sticking some of the things from the subscription on the left side just to kind of keep me inspired, and I thought it came out really cute. I really love the little envelope on the left, and I put, like, my little, um, like, a little sticky note full of my thought process for what I wanted for that drawing in there, so I thought it was really cute. Um, my fiancé was saying that it kind of reminds him of, like, a pop-up book, which I really like, um... I think that's a cute idea just to kind of like add a little extra like interest to your sketchbook um i did outline this in a purple sakura micron in the plastic nib i thought it was appropriate i kind of like really like colored um line art that's one of my favorite things um so yeah i just kind of went with that for her and i'm sorry if the lighting um, on this video is a bit weird. I did this really late at night. I am a night owl, so um, I always get really inspired at night. So this was like, I want to say like midnight when I did this. And I had all the lights on. I had the ring light and my desk light and my lamp and like I had all this stuff on. But I don't know. I still feel like you can tell it's a little bit dark um so i'm sorry but i just i really get inspired at night so i really wanted to just 
go for it because if I waited I don't think it would have gotten done honestly um but yeah I really 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 like the colored line art I think that's a really cute fun gentle touch rather than the dark um black line art um I just thought it was really cute and I didn't have a ruler so I was just using the sticker sheet um I did end up finding my ruler though so that's good I cleaned my room and I was like oh there it is it was just like on a dresser somewhere i forgot what i was using it for but um yeah it's really cute um so the witch's hair is kind of inspired from the witches on the sticker sheet but also inspired kind of from b from b and puppy cat i like her like floofy curly wavy hair i think it's really cute um and then just to color i used those cheap markers that i used in my last video um from five below i believe and i did not like this initial skin tone it was so so light so you could barely see it um so i do end up going in and doing a darker tone just because that that one i had was way too light it was just way too light like you could barely tell anything um so yeah i just built up the color with the skin tone from there and it came out a lot better you see how i'm like you can tell that it's like actual flesh <laughs> like instead of just the really light tone um yeah it was nice i i don't know why i don't like i i like using cheap markers sometimes i don't know why as long as they're alcohol based i'm just like yeah it's fine um i do have copics but sometimes they're just like so dried out and then it's you know refills are hard to come by so i'm just like i'll just use whatever i got i'm not like super picky um but i would say i'm picky about paper so moleskin is always my favorite go-to thing to use obviously my favorite um but yeah i really went hard with the purple theme i <laughs> the the hair the the line art everything like that uh i think even her eyes are purple um, but it's cute. It, it's, it's a Halloween drawing, you know, it's fun. Um, but yeah, I really do love that light purple color. That's been one of my favorite colors for like the past year now, I would say. And I've never been a purple person, but now I'm like, I really, really like the light purple, like the light lilac purple. I think that and light pink are really cute. Um, light blue too, like a light minty blue. I love that color. It's my favorite kind of like the uh the animal crossing mint color i love that that is so pretty um yeah and then i used this marker this was a it was like labeled as a gray but it kind of has like a blue hue to it i don't know it was kind of weird um but i liked it a lot it was not super black you know what i mean like not to where it's like super harsh for the drawing itself um it's cute though i like it uh again just those cheap markers i'm a big fan of cheap markers i want to try those um oh hoo hoo markers i think that would be a lot of fun and just a lot you know like a lot of fun to use and then just to have it like integrated with my other markers because i'm one of those people that i just use like whatever I have, like I'll use my artist loft markers with my Copics and then these five below markers with my Copics and vice versa. Like I'm not super picky about it. Um, but yeah, I thought this was so cute. I just, ah, and then the pink, I love pink. Um, it was a cute doodle. It was something that was like, oh, this is fun. You know, it's just like a nice thing to get me back into it. Um, yeah, really cute. And um, for Inktober, I'm trying to do just very, very, very simple drawings. So nothing like this where it's like fully colored. I think I kind of want to stick with just like half, half body drawings in ink with, you know, like one, you know, color in the background just to make it stand out a little bit more. Nothing crazy because I feel like when I... I feel like every time I'm like, oh, I'm going to do this challenge, blah, blah, blah. Like, it just ends up being very, obviously, tedious because you're doing it every day. But then I also try to, like, overstep my boundaries and just, like, 
go full out with it and there's no way to do that you know like there's there's no way to sit there and be like oh yeah I'm gonna go full throttle every single day for 31 days like that's that's too much to do like you know you're a human you can't do all that um but yeah, also I've been really loving using colored pencils with marker. So I busted out my Prismacolors and I added details with it. Um, I really like the way it looks. It's something that I used to do a long time ago. I don't know why I stopped. Um, but yeah, I used it for this piece and I thought it came out really cute. I really like the way it came out. And I also really love like texture in drawings so I think colored pencils are really good for that and I have my electric sharpener that I got from Walmart that's <laughs> like my favorite sharpener um it works really well and I feel like it just adds a lot of depth to the character without it being um like overwhelming or anything um I think it just adds a lot to it so I was really happy about it and again I love the purple the purple looks so cute um yeah, and then obviously the white gel pen and stuff for highlights. I'm a big fan of that thing, the Uniball Signo. Um, yeah, probably my favorite gel pen. Every really other gel pen I've used is kind of uh, crappy. <laughs> uh, this one, you can actually get some ink out of it. Um, then I go in with the gold Uniball Signo, which is another favorite of mine. So that is something that I use quite often the white one and then also that gold one for accents um i also have a silver one but that one i don't bust out as much but i just like adding highlights to things i think it makes it pop more i think it helps the drawing a lot um but yeah that is my whole process and my whole drawing i hope you liked it um, let me know if you have any subscriptions, if you like them or not. I think this sticker subscription is really nice. Again, not sponsored. I just really like it. Um, but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. And I will see you next time. Bye!